What's happening guys? Thank you so much for joining me. Here are seven new LinkedIn Sales Navigator features that were recently launched or are about to come out in 2019. And I wanna show you how you can better use them and get you pumped. So number one is called Custom Lists. With Custom Lists, it allows you to create, share, and collaborate awesome lists that you save on an account level and on a lead level. As you do a specific search, then you can start saving them to a custom list. Now you can create a custom list call it whatever you want. So let's say you have a specific territory, add them to uh, a list that you call territory A or California, Seattle, whatever. After you save a bunch of them, then you, the magic starts to happen. Now you can also do this on an account level. At, once you do a search result for accounts, once you start saving them, you can then save them to an account level. Now what does this look like once you've saved a bunch of them? Let me show you right here. Here in this example, I've saved 52 individuals or leads, and then I can sort them and filter them by the filters that you're pretty familiar with already. So in the past 90 days, 10 of them have changed jobs. And uh, there's 44 of the 52 that I can get introduced through Team Link and so on. Now, besides the cool functionalities of filtering specific people that I want to see, there's even better capabilities of custom lists, and that's called Share. Now let's say I am an AE and I have a BDR, ADR, SDR that's setting me appointments and I also have uh, a sales uh, engineer that's working with me and there's also a customer success manager or customer success rep that is also involved in this account. Now you can share with them as long as they're in your sales navigator uh, organization or your sales navigator contract, you can then add them here. And what's cool about this, after you share the list with them, they can then add comments and everybody can be on the same page. So now selling is a team sport within LinkedIn Sales Navigator and people can all be in the same page, have better visibility and understanding of, hey, what are the next steps? Here are the roadblocks. This is how we can move forward. So check it out and then how you access these in future after you create them and save them, you can go to lead lists and you can see all your leads lists that you can create and that you created or account lists and you can see them all right here. Boom. The second feature I wanna show you is called alerts. Alerts is the little bell on the top right next to your profile picture in your, in your LinkedIn Sales Navigator account. What this does, it gives you relevant insights on the companies and people that you've saved or the people that are in companies that you've saved that you should be aware of, of certain movement happening. So there's awesome new alerts, pay attention to them. And here's a list of all of them that are currently being tracked and served up under that bell. Number one, uh, a save leave started a position at a new company, you can get notified. A new position within the, within the same company, uh, you get notified. A save lead viewed your profile. A uh, potential lead recently joined a saved account. A save lead has accepted your connection request and so on. So these are awesome nine, take a screenshot of this if you want, find it on Google, do a Google search. But LinkedIn Sales Navigator now is giving you relevant, fresh, new information on the people and accounts you care about. All you have to do is log into your Sales Navigator account, hover over the little bell, click on it, and then bam, you can see everything that's happening, everything that's going on within the account and the people you care about. A third feature that I wanna cover is called the LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Zoom integration. So a lot of you uh, may be familiar with Zoom, Zoom Video Communications. They have an amazing video communications platform that you can communicate through video, audio, through any through anybody in the world, and it's it's awesome. Check it out. So as you sign into your LinkedIn Sales Navigator account and your Zoom account, you, you have to install the plugin or install the integration. Now your Zoom admin might need to actually uh, enable this so you can actually self-serve and install it yourself. But after you do that, then when you are in a Zoom video call, let's say uh, I'm talking with Rebecca Brewer here at Lucidchart, and I hover over her name, I can see uh, her LinkedIn profile, and I can see and take certain specific actions or engagement that I normally would do in Sales Navigator. But the integration allows you to see all, all these awesome uh, data points inside of Zoom through this widget. So then I can see, okay, here's the profile of Rebecca Brewer, here's how many mutual connections we have, here's uh, how many connections she has, and I can save her in Sales Navigator right here in this window. I can also see potential icebreakers. I can see highlights. Here's her recent activity and so on. And here are the people that can introduce me to Rebecca. Amazing integration. Shout out again to Zoom for making such an amazing video platform. 
And I'm super stoked that LinkedIn Sales Navigator Snap program uh, was able to just work with Zoom and make this happen. So install it, check it out. If you're using Zoom and LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you've gotta try these two out. The fourth feature that I wanna cover is called Search Exclusions. Now, search exclusions allow you to remove certain criteria in your search parameter. So let's say that I have uh, this specific search with uh, that I've indicated I wanna see leads in California, Colorado, Utah, in this specific, these particular industries that have this, this type of seniority level and function. What I can do here is then I can see, okay, what happens if I remove and I exclude the apparel and fashion industry? Or I only wanna see now owners uh, or I don't want to see owners and I don't want to see directors. I just want to see partner and VPs in this specific criteria. So exclusions allow you to quickly see right away what the search parameter looks like before and after you do certain actions such as here. Take uh, note of this. It's going to become extremely handy and extremely useful. Now here are all the specific uh, enhanced search that you can exclude. Uh, on lead filters, which are company, geography, seniority level, title, function, industry, and school. On an account level, you can then exclude geography and industry. Now, I wanna give a shout out to Anna Hopkins before I forget. Anna Hopkins, thank you so much for the LinkedIn uh, uh, Sales Navigator snapback hat. She is uh, our awesome account manager uh, for our account here at LinkedIn's uh, at Lucidchart. So shout out to Anna Hopkins, connect with her on LinkedIn, she's amazing. All right, the next feature is called the LinkedIn Sales Navigator for Lightning Salesforce. So if you're on Salesforce, you definitely want to install this specific update and it's gonna blow your mind. So according to this installation guide and you know, I've worked with our Salesforce admins here, this installation process should take less than 30 minutes. I'm gonna put a link in the description below as to how you can access this installation guide. Again, share this with your Salesforce admin and uh, there's gonna be the link. Now what this looks like inside of Salesforce in the Lightning uh, console or the Lightning view, then I can see awesome, clean, and seamless widgets of LinkedIn Sales Navigator for specific contacts that I would like to work with. So Dan Cook, I can see how many connections he has, how many shared connections we have, uh, his positions, where he's at, where he was previously at, I can view in Sales Navigator. I can also see, if you remember the very first feature I cover is called list. I can see which list he is part of, and it's amazing. I can see highlights right here below. I can also see recent activity. I can see more. I can see related leads, icebreakers, introduction. I can see related leads, et cetera, all within my Salesforce instance, my Salesforce Lightning View instance, and it's, it's gonna be awesome. Now, I was also looking up some more information on this, and they told me that uh, the Salesforce admins can find and install Sales Navigator for Salesforce without leaving the setup console within Lightning in the winter release. So whatever that means, you know, share this with your Salesforce admin and they should take care of you. If you guys are using Sales Navigator and you guys are on Salesforce, you got to try it out. It's amazing. It's seamless. It looks better. Uh, and you're going to get a lot out of it. All right. Here's the sixth feature. We're almost done. Hang in there. This one's called Technologies Used. As you go and search for accounts, you can now filter specific accounts by the technologies they use. So if I want to see specific uh, accounts, for example, in California that are in these specific industries, such as architecture and planning, automotive and computer software, while excluding apparel and fashion, I want to see which one of them are using Atlassian. I can then bam, go like that. I want to see which, ones of, which one of them are using Salesforce again and then it serves me amazing results based on the technologies they're using now i've been told that this these specific technologies use filter now uh, was updated with almost thirty thousand technologies that you can filter and see uh, specific accounts that match that criteria of technologies used so extremely powerful technical graphics as people call it that you can filter by and apply with and have a better understanding uh, of which company is that you're talking to and in order to create a relevant message. If you know they're on Salesforce, that they're using Atlassian and that they're in certain areas, then your message, such as your email cadence or your social selling cadence, should definitely include that here's what I know about you, A, B, C. Here's how our solution or product or service can help you and then this is how we can move forward. The more personalized you can get in every step, every step or every stage of the sales process, the sales cycle, 
the more relevant, the more visibility, and the more value you can add to your customers. All right, and the last feature, you've made it, congratulations. It's called LinkedIn Sales Navigator Coach. Again, some of these have already been released to the public. They're almost out, so be patient if you don't have this. this again, this one's called LinkedIn Sales Navigator Coach. Hover over your profile picture in your LinkedIn Sales Navigator account. Scroll down and it says, under settings right here and in between the social selling index is a new line that says sales navigator coach. Now LinkedIn has gotten a lot of feedback from users like yourself and other power users and companies and the thousands of customers they have. And they provided these awesome tutorials, very short and bite-sized tutorials that you can watch as to how you can utilize and maximize uh, the, the, the benefit of LinkedIn sales navigator. So you watch the video, you understand how to set your sales preferences and then you can try now and it shoots you over to the window or the area where you can try it now. So play around with these. Uh, I mean, they have so many, I just covered seven of them. Now imagine all the previous ones that you may uh, not know of or you're not getting the most out of. So when this comes out or, or when this feature gets rolled out to you, I highly recommend that you play around and try all of these so you can have a better understanding of the powerful, the powerful platform that you have uh, in your command to uh, that's available to you if you truly understand how to tie it to your traditional sales efforts, combining social selling to really accelerate the whole sales process, close more deals that are bigger. So that's it and that's all. Thank you so much for watching and hit me up if you want to uh, stay connected. Here's uh, Gabe Villamizar in slash Gabe Villamizar on Twitter at Gabe Villamizar. Thank you so much and have a good one.